You would not believe how many people still use just one password for almost everything. Sound familiar? Let's deal with that today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? On Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. More what? Well, you know, calligraphy is a nice option. We are going to spend today talking a little bit about password management and security in general. And I know, it seems like it might be a boring topic, but trust me, I don't believe it's boring when somebody compromises your identity and your entire world turns upside down. And while everybody is at risk and there is no guarantee that you can actually protect yourself 100% in this online oversharing world, there are things that you can and should be doing that will significantly increase your and your family's security. Today we're going to talk about one simple tool that you can use that's very affordable. You can even start out with it for free. It's called LastPass and it's the password manager that I ended up choosing and using. Now there are a variety of different password managers out there. All of them are good. I don't really care which one you use, but I do care that you choose and you use one because it will give you the discipline to have good secure passwords on all of your accounts and it also facilitates productivity because you aren't spending a bunch of time looking around for passwords that you've lost trying to remember which one you had trying to create new ones and doing the password reset that just waits wastes a tremendous amount of time that we have all experienced so let's dive in and have a little look at what a good password manager will do for you now, LastPass, as I said, you can try it out for free. It works on all of your devices, your smartphones, your tablets, your computers, your notebooks, your desktops, everything, uh, because it's a cloud-based service. Now, what happens? People always say, well, what happens if the password service gets hacked, Steve? Well, if the password service gets hacked, we're frankly all screwed, but the password services are designed in such a way that it would take basically multiple hacks in order to get access to your information because the passwords and the account information are stored in separate places, uh, including on your computer. So the odds of a nefarious person getting their hands on all of your passwords is incredibly remote. I won't say it can never happen, but it's incredibly remote. And the benefit we get from using a good solid password manager far outweighs the risks. So what does a password manager do and where do you apply it? Let's take a look. It all, for most of us, it starts with our web logins, logging into things like our email or our, the different software services that we subscribe to, or perhaps our online banking. Through the websites that we log into, we have accounts and we have passwords that we log in with. Now, what LastPass does is the, really the first place you're going to end up using it is in those sorts of areas where you're logging into different web services. And as such, the first place you're going to really benefit from LastPass is having it installed in your browser as an extension. Now, I've got it installed here in Chrome, and you can see it right here in the top. And what LastPass does is anytime I go to any of my accounts, it's monitoring what's happening. And when I go to an account that I want to log into, let me go and log into my webinar account where I deliver my webinars, which is a, a software as a service. And here it is. It's a secure, uh, secure environment. I've got my username and password. Now, LastPass automatically populates and fills this information in for me. And I can, you can see that it's done that because it's got a little number down below, beneath, which tells you I actually have multiple accounts for this, so I can choose which account I want to log in with. But what's happened here is LastPass is storing the password information as well as my account information. Now, there is a master password, which should be a very solid password that you are going to have to remember that you have to log into depending on how often you want to on your browser. So there is an extra level of security that you have there. Uh, but once you've logged into the master password into your account, it will then monitor all the sites as you visit them and then bring in the password. And if I want to sign in, I just click on sign in and all of the information is loaded. I don't have to remember which password I had for that particular account. Now at all, if you want to kind of take a look at the engine room, we can just click on the last pass icon here in my browser. And it works the same in all browsers. I'm in Chrome here, but it works the same in Safari and it works the same in Firefox. It works the same in all browsers. I'm going to open something called the vault. Now the vault is really your home page 
in LastPass. What we've got here, and I'm going to have to blur most of this out because it's got a lot of my account names, which I don't necessarily want to share with everybody, but you see all of the different accounts that I have that LastPass is tracking for me. Now, the interesting thing is when I change an account login, like if I update a password, LastPass will automatically track that as well and allow me to change the password and save the information here as well. If we look down on the bottom right-hand side we to the plus icon there, we can add new types of content, new types of passwords, or new types of services to LastPass. So it's not just for logging into websites, but we can cluster all of our different stuff together in folders. So logically, you can have work and home, for example, uh, passwords. Uh, you can also share items, which I'll be showing you in a minute. This is incredibly powerful. We use this for our team all the time. I have people that I need to be able to access into my website uh, or into our different accounts, different team members, and I can give them access to the accounts without actually giving them the password with a brilliant implementation that these password managers have for sharing account information. I can also add something called secure notes. So for example, if you've got uh, registration codes for software that you want to keep safe and keep separate, uh, things like perhaps your birth certificate, your passport number, those sorts of things, you can keep them in secure notes so that you can access them when you need from your smartphone or from your desktop computer. So that's another type of secure information that can be stored within these password vaults. And of course, you can also add sites. Anytime you log in and create a new account, LastPass will say, do you want me to create an account on that? It's very accommodating from that perspective. And it will ask you if you want to create an account. Now, the other kind of magic piece that LastPass does is when you do create an account or you create any, uh, or, or you're changing the password for anything, it will generate a secure password for you. So you don't have to think about those super cryptic passwords or things that are going to work for you. If I click on generate a password, it will give me, uh, create an automatic password for me. And it will also allow me to modify that password because some sites say that you need, you know, upper and lower case and no special characters or, or upper and lower case and numeric characters. So you can turn on and off all of these uh, options here. You can also make it pronounceable, which gives you some interesting options for access when you aren't, uh, when you don't necessarily have access to a keyboard. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Avoid ambiguous characters. You know when you get a password and it's got an I and a one or a zero and a letter O and you can't tell, is it a zero or is it an O? You can avoid ambiguous characters. So it'll take out anything that a letter and a number could be the same thing. Isn't that sweet? I like that. So lots of smart features there. So what it will do though is it'll automatically create this password. You can copy it to your clipboard if you want, but then you can use that password in whatever field you're entering the password in. So these passwords are in very cryptic. Obviously, it's going to take a, a lot of hacking for any computer to resolve exactly what your password is here. But also, you'll never remember these passwords. And you aren't going to write them down somewhere. God forbid you write them down somewhere. <laughs> but you're not going to write them down somewhere. So LastPass stores the passwords in the cloud for you to access through your master password. And that's kind of the way the whole chain of command works. But by using these passwords, your accounts are so much more secure. The option, the opportunity for somebody to accident or to be able to hack into one of your accounts and get access to your personal information. And often one of these accounts leads to other accounts and other accounts. For example, if somebody gets access to your email, they can go to other accounts and ask them to email new passwords to you, to, to, to the email. And if they have access to that, they can go in and change your passwords. So the, 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 the risk that we're at through the different threads of these, uh, of our password being hacked or our ad identity being compromised can be pretty significant. But LastPass or 1Password or any of the other password managers really limits the amount of damage that can and should be done to any of us through these sorts of, through these sorts of security breaches. Now, I want to show you some of the other features that are here because uh, I wanted to show you how to share, first of all. So let's say I wanted to share this, this CRM product that I tested out with my team. All I do is you go in here into the dashboard, you click on sharing. What it will allow you to do is email access to the account to a member of your team. Now they have to use LastPass as well, but it will then install as a password in their system, but they won't actually be able to see the password itself or make changes to it so that you can then revoke access at any point. And if you want to see all of your different shared passwords, I can just go here to my shared in center and there I can manage all of my shared 
accounts that I've shared with other team members. So for different reasons, I have to give different team members access to different accounts. This is a terrific way of being able to share access uh, without the risk of that person actually being able to take the account over. If you want to just give somebody it temporarily, you can then revoke the access at any time. Now, remember this feature because this sharing center also is used when we start talking about using LastPass for our entire family where we can share an account amongst family members. Uh, but that's the sharing center. Now, there's one other thing that I want to show you, and this is a really important thing that you can do for those you care about. This is great for your business. This is great for your personal life. It's emergency access to your accounts. If something bad happens to you, if you have a stroke, if you're in an accident, if you're incapacitated for some reason, you need people who can pay your bills and take care of things for you. We give power of attorney for that. We've got that set up within our, within our social infrastructure. But within the online infrastructure, we don't have that. Power of attorney isn't going to give somebody access to your email account or access to your online banking or anything else like that. So what we can do with this is you can set up an emergency access to your LastPass account. What happens is you click here and you send an email to the trusted person who you want to give access to. And then you set a time delay. You say, if, you, if something bad happens to me, you can access my account immediately or within three hours or six hours of this happening. And then what happens is that person has to invoke a process. In the email that's sent to them is a link. If they click on the link, LastPass is sent a message saying, Steve needs help, basically, and I'm here to help. So give me access to his accounts. Now, this isn't something we necessarily like to think about. It's like writing a will. It's not the funnest process that we are ever going to do, but it is the responsible thing to do, and it does make things better for those who are affected by you having anything bad happen to you. So emergency access is one of the really, I think, creative and good aspects of a password manager like LastPass. Now, before we are done, there is one other thing that I want to talk about, and that is, we will find it under more options, and that is LastPass families. If you are the responsible one in your family and you understand the value of passwords and security and all of these things, you can encourage the rest of your family to join in on LastPass and you can have a LastPass family plan. Let me just jump over to the pricing plan and I'll show you what it is. For $4 a month, you can share passwords with your family. That could be banking, bank accounts with your spouse or your significant others. That could be access to your mortgage or all of your uh, utilities accounts because we all have, sign up for accounts. And typically speaking, what happens is one partner has access to it because of their email account is the one that's attached to the account. And the other one doesn't have access to that account. And then you're doing the taxes and you're saying, how much did we spend on the mortgage interest this year? But the mortgage account is in the other person email, so you got to go get that from them, you can share these passwords back and forth. For kids, it's great too, because now you can also share access to things like Netflix and entertainment packages, and you don't have to be shouting the password back and forth. You can share all of the passwords to the Wi-Fi for your house. So again, you're not trying to remember what the passwords are for, for services like Wi-Fi. $4 a month for the entire family to be secure and the convenience factor of never again having to track down a lost password or having to start a whole new account because you just can't figure out what the password was for the old account. LastPass is one of those tools that it's hard to get excited about. It's hard to get excited about security, but it's pretty easy to get excited about increased productivity. And if you just think about the amount of time that you waste on a weekly basis or monthly basis, recovering lost passwords or trying out multiple passwords to get into an account or looking for that piece of paper, which you, the whole time you're looking for that password, you know it's not secure or typing in the same password over and over again and having that little voice in the back of your head saying, we really should upgrade our password strategy, shouldn't we? All of those things combined make a tool like LastPass, I think, a go-to app that we should all be embracing. I hope you have enjoyed our video today and you can let us know that you enjoyed it by subscribing to our channel, hitting the notification bell so that you get access to all of our future videos and of course sharing it with others. Plus, we'd love to hear your comments here on Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle. Thank you.